In a boost for the ruling party, the DPP's Tsai Peihui over the weekend defeated the KMT's Lin Mingzhen in a by-election in Nantou. She has become the first DPP lawmaker to win a seat in the, in the county, which is a KMT standhold. Tsai won on a razor-thin margin of 45,218 votes, only 1,925 votes away from her KMT rival. On Sunday, she thanked her voters from a motorcade procession in Nantou streets. Analysts say the key factor behind her win may have been because Lin had been involved in Nantou politics for over 10 years, and voters may have wanted to see a fresh face. The day after DPP lawmaker Tsai Pei Hui won Nanto's by-election, she immediately got up early and launched a motorcade to travel through Nanto's streets, waving and thanking voters. In the past two elections, I was defeated. This time I've won the election. For me, it's not about winning or losing. For me, the question is whether I want to continue working hard for Nanto. And the answer is yes. Getting elected is just the beginning of my responsibilities. I can't be slack about anything in my work. It was the first time for Tsai to challenge Nanto's second electoral district, and she defeated the KMT's Lin Mingzheng by almost 2,000 votes. Aside from fulfilling her political pledges one by one, she would also actively cooperate with the local government. There won't only be assistance from the central government, we must also cooperate with local governments. There are problems with trash. As long as I serve as a legislator, I will definitely speak with my campaign office director, legislator Luo Meiling. We will liaise with the Environmental Protection Administration and then invite the Nanto County government to join us for further discussions. Tsai was able to break into a KMT stronghold. One doctor thinks it's because after Lin Mingzheng stepped down as Nanto County magistrate, he returned to run for the legislature against Tsai. Voters may have been sick of seeing the same old face in politics. Li Mingzhen has already been a legislator in Nanto. He's been a commissioner and then he came back and ran as a lawmaker again. He said at the beginning he didn't want to do this. Then, because other potential candidates didn't do well in opinion polls, he ran again. Therefore, possibly the voters wanted to go out with the old and in with the new. They may have adopted an attitude of switching him with someone else and seeing what the new person would do. Tsai served as a DPP legislator at large in 2016. In 2020, she ran to be a legislator in Nantou's first constituency and lost. And in 2022, she ran for Nantou County Commissioner and lost. Now she's managed to win a foothold in a county stronghold and returned to the legislature. Sure.